All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another topic. By the way, happy hump day, ladies and gentlemen, to each and every last one of you out there. Salute, salute, salute. But with that being said, make sure you stay tuned at the end of this very video. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And make sure you turn your notifications bell on. But with that being said, let's smash these likes up. Let's get this algorithm going out here, folks. Now, with that being said, Let's get right into this topic, because I'm not going to waste no time. They were laughing at you. But now, sooner or later, they're going to be crying. You about to prove each and every last one of them wrong. People, let me tell y'all something. Back in the day, a lot of people misunderstood you, overestimated you, slept on you. They slept on your purpose. They were geeky, ha ha, laughing. Gang and groups to talk about you, gang stalk you, you name it. But now, all of that laughter that they were doing behind your back is about to turn into 100% tears. Because here's the thing when they were laughing at you, they were laughing at God. When they were teasing you, they were teasing God. And God don't like ugly. Folks, let me tell y'all something. If you ever been teased about a gift or anything, or that's believing in yourself, believing in your dreams, they ain't never low, insecure people try to convince you that you don't want to chase your own dream because they let somebody else turn their sky into a ceiling. Now they try to turn your sky into a ceiling, but you did not let that happen because you knew you had what it takes inside of you. You know what God had put inside of you. Back then you probably didn't know. Or back then you probably didn't understand. Why you never got along with the crowd. Or stood with the crowd. Because God isolated you for a reason ladies and gentlemen. And this is why people laughed at you. Because you were different. But guess what. Now you're going to be laughing at them. Because they all think the same. Dress the same. Etc. Etc. Talk the slang slang as well. Sound that's like one another. That's like a bunch of rappers in these records. Talking about the same old thing. Gang, 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 all that. That's them. But when it come to you, you talk about something different. You see, when you stand out from the crowd, people is going to misunderstand you, talk about you. Now, don't get me wrong. They're going to be hating. They're going to be laughing. But when you get the job done, and when you prove every single last one of your enemies wrong, they're going to be crying, either that pissed off, mad, and bitter, and miserable on top of that. Misery loves company. All these group of people that sit back talking about you is in a world full of mess, hot mess. They couldn't get off their behind and trace their own purpose and trace their own dreams. But they see you putting in the work. Man, they're getting all in their feelings. Getting all in their little stinky emotions. Because they hate to see you rise up. But rest in peace to Maya Angelou. You still gonna rise. Still I rise, still I rise. Y'all type it in the comments below right now. It says, still I rise, still I rise. Rest in peace to Maya Angelou, by the way. Because no matter what these people try to put you through, you still gonna rise. Like Jesus himself, you are going to rise. I don't care how many people are against you. I don't care how many people are laughing at you. Once you get the job done, listen to me. Once you get the assignment done, you're going to prove every single last one the wrong. You're probably going to humiliate them, embarrass them. Then they're going to be crying. But hey, don't tell nobody nothing. Never know. Never tell what your right hand doing to your left hand. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I mean, excuse me. Never tell your left hand what your right hand is doing. Because as soon as you start telling people what you're doing, you're going to mess up. Tell the plan. You plan to fail, right? So keep that plan between you and God. And besides, this is God's plan. You got no business telling people what God got for you. Oh, he about to do in your life. Because all they're going to do is try to tarnish it. 
sabotage it, shoot it down. Oh, who you think you are? You think you're just going to leave us? Ain't nobody in this city ever made it big. <laughs> but watch what I tell you. God finna make that happen because you're going to be the only one in your city that's going to make it out. You're going to make your home city very, very, very popular. And all your enemies that led at you, they're going to be sent back regret at how they treated you. Power crime. You're going to be living rent free in these people's head without paying the bills. Understand where I'm coming from. Because they know that they were wrong and you were right the whole time. You were right, right. And they were wrong left. Wrong as two left shoes. <sighs> wrong as two left shoes on a bow-legged person. Understand what I'm saying right now. But I'm telling y'all right now. If you're being laughed at for having a dream or goal or for believing in yourself, don't listen to these people. I don't care what they are saying about you. I don't care how hard they're trying to get at you. Ignore them. Because they want you to respond. I told y'all, they're just like little children. They want some attention from y'all. Like Stewie from Family Guy. Y'all seen that episode? We kept on saying, Ma, Ma, Mommy, Louis, Louis. Your haters are just like that. A prime example is like that. They want some attention so bad. How can I get him to get off his course? How can I get her to get off her course? I want some attention. Love me now. This is what they are saying. Look at me. But you be like, you hear something? Or they nothing but the wind. Back to the drawing board. I'm mean, excusing. Back to the drawing board. You don't even hear them. You don't even see them. Because your mind's so busy focusing on getting that paper. You thinking five years ahead, you ain't got time to be sitting up here worrying about what they are doing, what they are saying. But the whole time they're sitting back worrying about you because you know why? They not thinking ahead of the future. They're so worried about what your future got going on. But they need to worry about what their own future. They're sitting back wondering what you're going to be in your life. What you doing with your life instead of sitting down thinking about their own selves. That's why they will never achieve nothing. This is why your enemies will never achieve greatness. Because they're so busy fixated on you. 24 hours, 24-7. From January to December. 365 a year. Pitiful, trifling thieves. Thieves don't break into empty houses, by the way. So when you got a house, a nice house. And you got a bunch of demons. <laughs> excuse me. A bunch of thieves trying to break into your house. That lets you know right there that the devil sees something in you and he wants it. But hear me out and hear me out right now. The devil will not take anything that belongs to you. Especially if it belongs from the most high. Because God gave you that gift. Can no man or no woman, no demon in hell can take that gift away from you. They can laugh at you. They can laugh at your gift. They can do whatever, but they cannot take it away from you. But what, like I said, once you get the job done... And succeed to the top of the mountain. Watch how many people going to be crying, mad, and pissed off in building. Or trying to come back into your life. They always do it. First, they don't believe in you. But once you show them, now they want to come back. No, no, no. You stay right where you're at. Hey, Screech, I just... Nope. No, 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 no. Block. Man, how's it going? Block. No, no, no. These people haven't spoke to you in years. Now they see you way up there with the other big dogs, with the other goats. Now all of a sudden they want to have a conversation. Now they want to chop it up. No, no, it ain't no chopping it up over here, pal. Tell me again, ladies and gentlemen, ain't no chopping up over here. Because if you really was, if they really was your friend or where they stuck with you through the struggle, they would have been chopping it up all along. But nah, they had to switch up on you. Now they sided along with the other stupid idiots. Now they see that you was the one. Now they see that you, sir, you, ma'am, that you had what it took and you had what it takes. But now it's too freaking late. Now they try to sit back and learn their lesson. 
Never count nobody out. Because as soon as you count somebody out, that's when God going to count that person right in. Understand where I'm coming from, ladies and gentlemen. You got what it takes. But see, these people were so misunderstanding you. That's overlooking you. It was a doggone shame. I'm telling y'all right now. You got people all in their feelings right now. A lot of people. Send back wishes. I should have never said that about him. I should have never said this about her. No, too late now. But you better be very, very careful. Well, not true, but I'm talking about they. They better be very, very careful of how they're treating people because they don't know that could be God's chosen person. And that same person that they are mistreating, that's the same person that's going to be end up becoming successful in life, later on in life. They may be struggling right now, but I give it doggone to you. One day, your enemies, the people that laughed at you, is going to be sent back crying. Y'all know the catchphrase, right? Laugh now, cry later. Watch. All of your enemies is going to be crying and all in their feelings.